Welcome children. Take out your history book. Chapter 9. Economic Policies of the British. Today's topic. Impact of the Permanent Settlement. This system provided regular income to the company even during natural calamities. Now, Permanent Settlement. Permanent Settlement provided regular income to the company even during the natural disaster or natural calamity. The company never failed to collect their fixed revenue even when the farmers suffered from drought and famine. Now, company never they have suffered uh, to, uh, to collect the fixed revenue even if the farmers used to suffer from drought or famine. The British obtained loyalty from the powerful class of Jaminda when they were legally made the owners of the land. Now the British, they started getting uh, getting loyalty from the powerful Jaminda when they were legally, when these Jaminda, they were legally made the owners of the land. The collection of revenue became easier and cheaper as the Jaminda took over the job to pay, uh, job of paid tax official. Now, the collection of revenue what it became it became very easier and cheaper as the because the jaminda they have taken the job of the paid tax officials the tenants tenants were the farmers had no right over the land uh, and were cruelly exploited and oppressed by the jaminda now this tenant that means the farmers they had no right over their over their own land and they were explo exploited uh, exploited and oppressed by the jamindars mm -hmm. At any time, the jamindas could raise the rent, which made the tenants poorer and jamindas wealthier. Now, any time the jamindas, what they used to do? They used to raise the tax, and so the tenants, that means the farmer, they used to become more poor, and the, while the jamindas, they used to become more wealthier. The tenants were left at the mercy of the jamindas, who had the who had the power to convict them in case there was a non-payment of dues. Now tenants, what they were left? They were left at the mercy of the jamindas and uh, who had the power to evict them in case there was no, a non-payment of dues. This system gave rise to a class of absentee uh, landlords who preferred to live off their agricultural wealth in cities but did little to actually improve agriculture. Now this system, what happened? It raised the guy, it gave rise to the class of the absentee landlord and they used to prefer to live of the agricultural wealth in cities but they little to little bit they did very little to improve the agriculture. In the long run the permanent settlement was more beneficial to the Jamina. Now in the long run what happened? This permanent settlement it was more profitable to the Jamindars than to the Britishers because by increasing by increasing the areas during under farm, farming the collection of revenue went up by the payment to the Jamin, British remained the same. Now what happened due to this mm, uh, the, uh, during the long term means in the long term run what happens the permanent settlement it became more uh, profitable to the Jamindars uh, than to the British. Why? Because uh, the, uh, because of the increasing area, increasing the area under the farming and the collection of revenue who went up by, but the payments of the uh, British, it remained the same. The system made the jamindas gain power over land and money while the condition of the farmers deteriorated day by day. Now, through this system, what happened? Jamindars gained more, more and more power uh, and money and while the uh, condition of the farmers, it got deteriorated day by day. By day. Now, Rotwari system. The Rotwari system was devised by Thomas Munro and was introduced first in Madras presidency. Now, Thomas Munro first introduced this uh, Rotwari system um, and it was when it was introduced, it was introduced in Madras presidency. It was later extended to Bombay, Assam and other area. Afterwards, what happened? This system, it extended to Bombay, Assam and other area. The Rotwari system was designed to improve the, upon the permanent settlement. Now, why was this Rotwari system designed? Because they wanted to improve the permanent settlement. Some features of Rotwari systems are stated. Now, some features of the Rotwari system are being given below. Under the permanent settlement, the company made the revenue system directly with the road of the business. Now, under this permanent settlement, the company they used to earn the revenue uh, means they used to make the revenue settlement that was directly with the road or the peasants. 
the peasants were recognized as owners of the land but they had but they did not fail to pay the land revenue on time now peasants they were they recognized they were given that the, they were the owners of the land but they did not have did not never fail to pay the land revenue on time in this system the land revenue was fixed for a period of 30 years after which it was subjected to reassessment and resettlement now in this system what is to happen the land revenue it was fixed just for a period of 30 years after which what is to happen it was subjected to reassessment and even resettlement the revenue was measured and assessed according to the potential system of the crop and the fertility of the soil now the revenue how it was measured it was measured and even assessed according to the potential of the crop and even the fertility of the soil the revenue was fixed at about 50% of the total now we you know what it was said it was fixed about 50% of the total produce the revenue was collected strictly even when the crop failed now the, even the revenue was uh, if the crop failed revenue was collected strictly now mahalwari system north india had a different system of land revenue settlement known as mahalwari system now north india what they had they had a very different system of land revenue settlement and what was it known as it was known as the mahalwari system it was introduced in uttar pradesh punjab and parts of madhya pradesh during the nizam of lord hastings now where it was introduced it was introduced in madhya pradesh in uttar pradesh punjab and some parts of madhya pradesh during the nizam of lord hastings mahal refers to a group of villages as hence it was known as mahalwari system as the land was categorized by as be collected owned by, owned by the villagers and the revenue settlement was made with the village as a whole now mahal what does it refers to it refers to a group of villages and so the system came to be known as mahalwari system because the land it was categorized it was divided into categories as being collected because this uh, taxes were collected owned and even that the lands were collected taxes were collected from the land owned by the villagers and the revenue settlement it was made with the village as a whole the head of a mahal was called the talukdar uh, and he was responsible for collecting the land revenue and handing it over to the village now head of mahalwari system he was called the talukdar and the talukdar talukdar was only responsible for collecting the land revenue and then Hand, uh, 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 handing it over to the british now uh, take out your diary right uh, chapter 9 uh, impact of permanent settlement explain homework revise it and with this i am ending my today's class goodbye